Life in prison, that's the mandatory punishment that Kimberly Kessler faces tomorrow afternoon when she's sentenced for the murder of her co-worker, Jolene Cummings. And like we just mentioned, we'll be streaming her sentencing live tomorrow afternoon when it begins. Joy is here now. Joy, there's one thing no one will forget about this bizarre case. Mary Kent, we're talking about Kessler's outbursts in court. She was always offered the opportunity to sit inside the courtroom during her own murder trial, but so many times she was quickly escorted out after yelling even over over the judge. Just put me back on myself. Sam, come back. I want to get rid of the public defender's office. It's how so many will remember this case. Kimberly Kessler's constant outbursts during nearly every court appearance of her murder trial. Jordan Beard is Jolene's cousin. Jordan Beard is Jolene's cousin. Jordan Beard is Jolene Cummings' cousin. Jordan, Jordan Beard is Kessler's claims about defense attorney Jordan Beard have proven to be untrue. And now she'll be sentenced after a jury last month took little more than an hour to deliberate and find her guilty of killing her co-worker Jolene Cummings. We the jury found the defendant guilty of first degree murder as charged in the indictment. The 34-year-old mother of three disappeared in May of 2018. Her body was never found, but evidence in Kessler's trial included blood found throughout Tangle's hair salon, where the two worked in Nassau County, video footage of Kessler shopping for supplies, tossing a garbage bag into a dumpster, and Kessler's internet searches, which included Jolene Cummings' No Body, No Crime. Cummings' own mother testified about her daughter's disappearance. Have you seen any social media posts from her? No, she didn't even acknowledge her birthday. In the end, Nassau County's sheriff said it was the victim herself who helped solve this crime. Jolene left her blood and she left her DNA and that's what got her. That's what helped us close this case out. Kessler declined to be in the courtroom when her guilty verdict was read. We'll see what happens during her sentencing set for tomorrow afternoon at 1.30.